Hello everyone and welcome to the RV Inspection and Care channel. I'm Dwayne. I'm a certified RV inspector and today we're going to be talking about the Class A brands and models that I feel that I can recommend to you if you're looking for a Class A motorhome. Now, I made a video just a little while back about the Class A brands that I felt were of the highest quality when compared to their competitors. And that was a very good video. A lot of people really enjoyed it. But this video is a little different because we're going to go further, not just give you the brands that are probably at the top of their field, but also the models within those brands broken down into price groups. So let's get started on that. And you know, everybody has an opinion. So my list that I'm going to come up with today and share with you may not match your list. In fact, you may not agree with mine, and that's okay. But this is the list of models of Class A motorhomes that I feel are really the best from my experience and from the research that I do online, from being an RV inspector, and also from talking to others in my travels, and I do that a lot. So when we look at this field of Class A motorhomes, there's a couple of things we've got to keep in mind. Number one, you cannot really truthfully compare uh, diesel motorhomes or diesel pushers with gas-powered Class A motorhomes. They're really two different animals. So we're going to break it out into diesel pushers and gassers. And the second point we need to make before we get to the list is it's not fair to compare uh, Class A motorhomes in different price ranges either because it's really a whole different kind of animal there as well. You see, you generally get what you pay for in RVs. So if you pay more, well, then you can expect to get a little bit better building materials, better fit and finish, better customer service, and all those kinds of things. So we understand that, and therefore, my list is going to be broken out into price points. So that way, we're doing this a little more fairly, and that way, we're making an honest comparison. So with that said, let's go ahead and let's get started on the list. And when we Look at Class A motorhomes. Let's go right to the top of the list with the diesel pushers. And why not go to the very top of that list with the luxury diesel pushers? So we'll start with diesel pushers that are $500,000 and up from there. And when we do, let's Start with the perennial favorite. I've got to tell you, I really love this company. They put out a great product and have for many decades, and that is Numar. Numar is almost synonymous with Class A motorhomes. It's what they do, and they do it very, very well. So in the $500,000 plus category, well, it starts right around with the, the, the uh, bottom of that with the Dutch Star. But then there's also the Mountain Air, the London Air, the Essex. And then if you really want the top of the line, the King Air. These are fabulous rigs. So if you're going to spend that kind of money, don't miss looking at the Newmar Class A diesel pushers. But Newmar has had a stiff competitor for decades. And uh, it's really good to see this kind of competition. And that competitor is Tiffin. Tiffin has an unbelievable following. Uh, people just love Tiffins because of the quality products that they put out and the customer service that they delivered for years now. And uh, in this 500,000 plus category. We can recommend the Allegro Bus, and that's been around for years and years, and the Zephyr. And those are both just fabulous coaches. Now, to round out this luxury section of the field, we also can add Integra. 
Integra hasn't been around quite as long as Newmar and Tiffin has in the RV field, but they have made huge strides over the years and they're putting out a really good product. So you need to take a look at that. And there's two over the $500,000 mark that you should consider. And that is the Anthem and the Cornerstone. Now, all of these rigs that I just mentioned, if you buy one of them, most likely you're going to be very happy with what you got. All three companies are excellent. Support is good, customer service, and so on. So highly recommend in the $500,000 plus category, look at these three manufacturers or brands. But now let's move down into the 300 to $500,000 category for diesel pushers. Now, this is where the vast majority of people are going to be buying their diesel pushers. Not a whole lot of people can be looking in those 500,000 plus uh, areas. So let's start here again with the two big manufacturers and brands for class A motorhomes, the first being Newmar, and Newmar has a couple of offerings in this mid-range field. One is the Ventana, and the second is the Country Star. Both fine, well-built coaches. Tiffin answers that. They have three offerings, and one is the Breeze. Uh, the other is the various RED, or red models, that they put out. And then there is the Phaeton, and the Phaeton has such a following over the years. It's so easy to see Phaetons almost anywhere you go. You talk to the owners of Phaetons, as I have through the years, and most of the time they just can't say enough about it. So those are all very good models for you to choose from. Now, from Newmar and Tiffin, let's move to Integra, and Integra also offers some very good products in this mid-range category of Class A diesel pushers. One is the Aspire, and the second is the Riata. So these are very well-built coaches too. Now from there, we're going to move to Winnebago, because Winnebago comes right in here in this mid-range section uh, with some very good offerings. The number one offering that you probably heard of before from Winnebago is the Journey. Again, the journey goes back for years and years and has a lot of loyal followers, so don't miss that one. And they also offer the Forza as well. From there, we're going to recommend also Fleetwood in this category because Fleetwood puts out a diesel pusher that, again, has been built for many years and a lot of people love it, and that's the Discovery and the Discovery LXE. Now, the difference being that the LXE is a Discovery that's over 40 feet long. So any of the Discoveries would be a good coach to look at and to consider because Fleetwood does build a good product there. Now, finally, we're gonna round out this mid-range section of Class A diesel pushers with the Holiday Rambler offerings. And one is the Navigator, and another is the Endeavor. So consider them as well. They're right here in this mix, too. All right, so those are the diesel pushers. We've considered the cost of these Class A motorhomes from $300,000 to $500,000, and then from $500,000 and up. But now we're going to move to the Class A gas-powered motorhomes, what we call gassers. And to do that, we're going to move down to the two hundred to three hundred thousand dollar category, and the reason for that is because you don't have that big old expensive diesel engine in the mix anymore, and diesels are really known for uh, pulling or pushing a lot of weight, so you don't have that with a gasoline engine. So there's a, a, a cutback on the number of options and fancy things that go along with it in these gasoline-powered motorhomes. And all of that brings the price down. 
So instead of $300,000 up, well, the $300,000 mark is kind of like the high water mark for gassers. Now between $200,000 and $300,000, let's again start with Numar and Tiffin because uh, you really should start there. Uh, these are the real cream of the crop of Class A motorhomes. Numar makes just one, and that is the Baystar in, in this particular uh, price point. The Baystar, even though it's not, you know, the cost of their luxury diesel pusher line, still it's a well-made Class A gasoline-powered motorhome. So really take a long look there. Now, Tiffin's competition to that is the Allegro Open Road. Once again, Allegro's go back for years and years and has a great loyal following. Tiffin's Allegro Open Road is just a beautiful coach. Again, well-made, a lot of good, good quality there. But in this $200,000 to $300,000 category, we can also add Winnebago because Winnebago has a, a model that they put out for years, and that's the Adventurer. And they do a good job of building these adventurers. But they also have another model called the Vista. And really, either one of these should be considered if you're looking in that price range. Finally, uh, I'm going to recommend Fleetwood again, but because especially they have a model in the gas-powered category that just is renowned in the RV field, and that is the Bounder. There's so many Bounder owners out there, and they love their Class A gassers. In fact, many Bounder owners just buy one after another after another. So don't ignore the Fleetwood Bounder in this $200,000 to $300,000 range. All right, now let's talk about the economy uh, section of Class A motorhomes. That is the $100,000 to $200,000 category. And believe it or not, we still have Numar with us in that category. And that's the uh, model they build called the Bay Star Sport. And my friends, in this category, that's the first place you really need to look is Numar if you want quality. Now, the one thing I'm going to mention here is that when you're in this category, the $100,000 to $200,000 category, do not expect the same level of fit and finish that you're going to find in the levels above this, and especially, of course, in the diesel pushers. However, you may be surprised at just how nice the fit and finish can be on the Bay Star Sport. Now, let's move from there, and our next selection in the this category would be Integra. And Integra offers two coaches in this economy section. One is the Vision, and the other is the emblem. So be sure to look at those as well. Next, let's move to Winnebago. Winnebago has the Sunstar. Very well worth a solid look. And then Jayco builds a couple of really good uh, lower cost Class A gas powered motorhomes. One is the Elante, and the other you see a lot of is the Preset. And those are very well worth your time and your investigation as well. Finally, we will give a nod to Forest River, believe it or not, for the Georgetown. Because uh, it is, I, the, from what I have seen, it can be a very well-made coach overall. Again, don't expect the fit and finish to be right up there to par. But in, in general, all of the features of the coach should be very solid. Well, there you go. Uh, we've covered all the Class A diesel pusher and gasoline-powered models and brands that I feel I would recommend to you right off for you to consider the best ones, in other words, in their price points. Now, once again, this list is simply uh, put together on the basis of what I've seen, what I have learned. It doesn't mean that you should buy only 
a product that I have mentioned on my list or that if it's not on my list, you shouldn't buy it. No, there's plenty of other really good solid uh, class A motorhomes that you should be considering and maybe looking at. But what I would recommend is this is the starting point. See if you can find something that pleases you in these areas, you know, these brands and these models, because you're putting the odds on your side then that you're really going to get a good product. Now, um, the last thing that I want to mention here as well is that if you're going to buy a new RV these days, I don't care what it is, class A, class B, C, a towable like a fifth wheeler travel trailer, the simple truth is this, it doesn't matter almost what brand you choose, there's going to be some quality control issues at the factory these days in many cases. And then when the uh, RV comes out from the factory and goes to the dealer, the dealers are often not doing their pre-delivery inspections like they should because they just want to sell units because they're selling them so fast right now. So my point is this, Whatever you buy, if you buy any of these models that I've recommended today, I still suggest that you have an RV inspection done on even new models uh, before you take delivery and have all the issues that are on the list that the inspector finds fixed before you take ownership and delivery. If you do that, then you're probably going to be very satisfied with the RV that you receive at that point. Well, that's it for now. I hope what we've covered today has been helpful. Have safe and happy travels, my friends. Until next time. <laughs>